Jeez, now I was very surprised to see you on the panel this morning. Are, are you thinking of moving even further left than you've been in the past? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of a theme to this. Uh, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your agenda? Um, well, I'm a, wearing an ABC I, cap. I, I, I got the cap because I, I came on a public tour here one day oh, and okay. they, they gave me a show bag, including the, the cap. So. Uh, I, uh, I wear the hat just just so that uh, I don't alarm anyone. I'm, I'm only, not subversive. Does it only shade your right side? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, absolutely. Um, now, there were um, a couple of reports that you did, Mark, that, that took my eye over the years. One was the National uh, Press Club when, uh, arguably, you did a bit of uh, butt smooching with Julia. I've seen the way the construction of that oh, butt smooching. Yeah, yeah, lovely too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen the construction of that question. I think it just surprised people to go back and have a look at the question. The way it's been mis misconstrued is kind of interesting. But look, you know, politics is a, um, uh, is a, is a contact sport in Australia. Yeah. So a lot of people like you would you know, say, you want to put someone in a box of left or right or middle or outside or whatever. And so when, when, uh, when I asked a question of the Prime Minister at the time about the debate on um, uh, on climate change that was being very aggressive to the point where there were death threats and all sorts of things happening. You had uh, mass rallies outside the parliament, people saying that they needed to tear the parliament down and kind of this sort of insurrection. Which takes me so to my the... My question... Sorry, Bill, I'll, I'll yeah, answer your uh, question Karen, if Karen. you want to hear. Yeah, sure. So, so my question was uh, to her, and I mean, the exact words, I, I don't remember, my question to her was, what's your, what's your advice to the media covering this issue, the responsibility of the media covering this issue. So th that was the question. Yeah, yeah. Um, which takes me to the other uh, of your interviews, and that was the Shit Happens one with, uh, with uh, Tony Abbott. And uh, look, in all honesty, I, I had the same Shit Happens feeling when I saw that you were on the show this morning. But, but uh, look, that's the end of the political aspect. Um, can I can I just show you? Can I just show you? Can I just show you? Can I show you this chart, which is the immigration in detention figures uh, for a long period of time, and highlighting the period when uh, Chris Bowen was the minister. Um, now, none of the questioning that took place, which was a fairly softball uh, interview this morning, I thought, none of, none of the, none of the questioning, none, none of the questioning of, of Chris Bowen pointed out the fact that there were about 11,000 people in immigration detention while he was the minister. It went from nothing when Howard lost government to about 15,000 at its maximum before the, the Abbott government got control of things. Um, so if, if Chris Bowen's performance as immigration minister is anything to go by, he would make uh, a pretty RS treasurer, in my opinion. Do, do you guys ever think to, to ask these people uh, to comment on some of well, these see, awkward... That, has been, that was asked uh, 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 and and uh, quizzed by the press gallery at nauseam at the time. It was a complete disaster under Labor's policies. Mm. Policies that they try to fix under um, with the Ma Malaysian agreement. He was trying to he was trying to s stitch up an arrangement with Malaysia, which guess what? The government looks like it's doing. So I mean, it's honestly, All right. that's an irrelevant question. Um, tough policy at the time, yeah. you know, what's, what's the real answer there? You know, you're right about the population in detention, um, but, uh, you know, it's just such a diabolical policy. Now, I'm going to turn this off.